we all know those times when we have an amazing image and it just needs a little bit of cropping just to be that amazing and as you know guys we can crop our images now even in our mobile phones and actually it's so easy to crop images in photoshop as well so here for instance we have that amazing image however let's say we would like to make that one even better so let's select our crop tool from our toolbar you can find that one in here or press C on keyboard and let's maybe reduce that sky by clicking and dragging from that side and let's also drag from the other side as well making that one a wider image of course if you'd like to keep the same ratios for your original image you can be hovering on any of these corners and you can start dragging inside while pressing shift key as well to maintain the same aspect ratio of your current cropping rectangle and you might also wonder about those line within our cropping rectangle or that simple grid well simply that grid is helping us to achieve the rule of third which is a very known rule in photography to achieve beautiful images so instead of placing your main elements in center you can place them on any third of your image so here for instance we can keep resizing our cropping rectangle to align that left line with the road which might be our main subject in that image so holding and maintaining shift key and dragging inside all the way to here it doesn't have to be 100% precise maybe a little bit to right or left and also let's align our horizon with that line so we can drag our cropping rectangle to that horizon line now as you can see breaking symmetry can be very pleasing to our eyes and if you would like to apply another ratios instead of rule of third you can be selecting from here from those cropping overlays actually you know what guys i was thinking all that time it's rule of thirds however we were using golden ratio not rule of thirds because they look similar to each other so let me select rule of thirds that's how it looks like and I was using golden ratios in previous design and Photoshop always remembers your last used settings so let me select golden ratio again because I really think this is what you should use most of the times and this is the ratio our eyes love the most and before we crop our image let's uncheck the lead crop pixels which will allow us to reveal any cropped areas anytime after we apply that so let's go ahead and apply that crop pressing enter or return on keyboard now this looks amazing and we can press command or control z to undo that to check our original image then we can press shift command z to redo what we did or to see our enhanced image which i really like in that case now let's move to another image and see how we can fix that one so here we have a very nice scene however we all have that amazing friend who would be destroying our images by shooting slightly rotated images <laughs> like that one for instance we have an amazing scene however we need to rotate that one a bit to right of course so in that case we can start rotating our cropping rectangle by hovering outside of any of these corners and we can start dragging right or left simply like that or even instead of doing that let me undo that pressing command or control z i'm gonna be using that amazing option in here straighten then all we need to do is to start defining that horizon line for photoshop simply by drawing a line from here clicking and dragging we don't have to cover all the line of course and tada here you go photoshop is fixing that one for us and also we can apply another ratio from those presets by clicking on that drop down so maybe you would like to go for a square you can select one to one square or maybe five to seven and if you would like to be converting that one into a landscape you can be clicking that swabbing button maintaining the same aspect ratio as well or you can go back to your freestyle 
which is W by H by resolution. Then we can be applying that, clicking that comet. Now let me show you guys another tool and another image as well. So let's select that file. So let's say we would like to extract a pattern out of that image. So if we start using our regular crop tool, maybe on those four squares, I'm gonna be clicking in here and dragging. That's not going to only crop them. It's gonna be adding the bar to our image. So instead, let's cancel that, pressing escape and selecting that tool. It's nested beneath our crop tool. And this one is called perspective crop tool. You can also cycle between these tools, pressing shift C. So selecting that one. And now we need to place our plane, clicking here and here, basically on our four corners of that square. We can also zoom in to check how precise our points. We can reposition them by clicking on any of these points and dragging that one. Now I think this looks nice, pressing return. And now we almost have that one in a flat to the perspective. Also here's our last example for that tutorial. And let's say we would like to get that one in a flat 2D perspective as well. We can start placing our points then comet. Now you will find that file in your resources if you would like to practice on these images. However, thanks to that amazing friend that we all have, I'm sure you have tons of images that might need cropping as well.